sunrise is hype mate especially this year can't seem to time it right or pick a day where they actually appear I mean look at it it's just grey I'm 10 minutes before sunrise and there's no breaks in the clouds which is just typical of my look I'm either too late or I come out on a day where there is no sunrise so I've come to Kalkabi because you've got the deer um, you've got the bird eyed with the bird feeders and they're always there and I could do a bit of woodland photography here if there's anything worth taking photos of so that's the reason I've come here again today the weather forecast said it was going to be um, patchy cloud so that's why I've come out this early to try and get a sunrise shot but no it's not meant to be You might be able to see behind me um, that little white dot up there. That's the waterfall I took a photo of a couple of weeks ago. The water on the reservoir here is still really low. I thought it was kind, it would kind of um, would have picked up a bit by now, but it's um, it's still really, really low. I mean, I've only been here three or four times but I've never seen it this low um, there's nothing on the water apart from gulls so I'll carry on walking I've been on an hour in, see if I can take another photo of this waterfall, but I think I've done it, haven't I? Uh, and the lighting isn't as good as what it was before, so no, I think I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna skip it. You can see. If the lighting was a bit better, then maybe yeah, but now nah, I think I've although the water's coming down a bit more fiercely um, it'll just be another photo of what I've already taken so no nah, I'm gonna give that a miss be able to see beyond me now the sunrise is just starting to come up um, would have been nicer if there wasn't as many clouds about Could have got some decent shots i'm going to change this channel to the miserable moody photographer i watched one of my videos back from a couple of weeks ago when i went to where did i go i can't remember that name of the place i've only been there once i can't remember i'll stick it below but god i was miserable on that video i know it was something a lot of it was to do with uh, the fact that i was having problems with my car which I did sort by the way, I did actually go home and smack it with an hammer it was the uh, dust guard on the back of the brake disc, it was rubbing so hammer did sort it but yeah I'm a, I am, I do look really miserable on my videos I'm not, well sometimes so I'll try and be more cheerful oh look dear A couple of weeks ago, um, I was awarded an award on Facebook from a photography group 
Now I'm a member of a few photography groups on Facebook but this particular one um, I am chuffed when I get an award from them because the quality of other photos that are awarded awards are um, really good in my opinion really good so for me to be picked as well uh, I don't know it kind of a uh, uplifts my uplifts my I wouldn't say spirits that sounds a bit but you know what I mean it kind of uplifts me a bit to think oh the photos are alright actually so I'll show you them two photos the ones I got awarded for they're both in black and white which I'm, I'm uh, very appreciative of but is it appreciative is that the right word you know what I mean but I'd, not, I'd like to get a colour one on there as well get a colour award but I'll keep cracking on well it is a nicer colour in there but I'm struggling because it's not really a big woodland and I'm trying not to take photos of trees that I took before I want to try and do something different but I don't know what I want to do I always seem to try and include a path in my photos and I don't really like it I don't know why I do it I think I think, I think you think it gives it some kind of direction but I'm a bit, a bit bored of them a bit bored of doing them so this tree behind me I took a photo of this last year and it come out really nice I'm just gonna have a look at it from the other angle from when it's behind me uh, and see what it looks like I might take that one again only because I liked it what's that on that tree over there it looks like oh, it's just a leaf look like some kind of mad chicken bird nesting well that's the angle I think this is I don't know where I kind of took it from before, I can't remember. It may have been here. I don't know, but it doesn't look that good today. I'm, a, I'm struggling. I don't think I've took a photo yet. Can anyone else say anything? I can't find anything. I really struggle with woodland photography. I'm yet to come out though when there's mist or fog. I think, I'm, well I'm hoping, that kind of give me some better compositions because I just, I just can't see anything. I just can't see the wood for the trees. That was really corny, weren't it? No, I just... I think this is not for me. I mean, I love looking at some people's woodland photography. And, then, and I wish I could take some good ones myself, but I don't feel like I have yet. I don't feel like I took a good one. Loads of walking and talking, no photos. Um, I haven't took a photo yet, not a decent one anyway. I just can't find anything and I'm really resisting the urge to take photos of things that I've took photos of before. I'm uh, heading back towards like the lake where the um, kingfisher was. So maybe I'll get lucky and then will be the shots of the day, the kingfishers. And then I'll go into the hide again and I'll get some shots in there, I know that, but I don't know, I just wanted something a little bit different because I know in the hide it'll just be green finches and uh, things like that, so I don't know, let's go have a look. Before I forget, has anybody got any recommendations for walking boots? Not nothing expensive, around the 50, 60 quid mark. Um, I only use them once a week when I'm doing this. I bought some Peter Storm boots literally four months ago and they've completely fell apart and I've kept them clean I've waxed them, I've kept them waterproof and they've just 
So they've just completely split all over. I've come away from the sole, I've just binned them. So I'm not that impressed with them and I wouldn't be buying them again. So if anyone's got any recommendations, uh, you can drop me a link below. Doesn't look like I'll be getting the other camera out today to do the video on. It's because there's nothing here. Well, I can't find anything anywhere. There's probably lots there, but I'm having a bad day. So, the miserable photographer, the miserable moaning, complaining photographer. Some people who work here just came over and, f and gave some apples to the deer. So there's deer over here. I stayed in there what seemed like to be forever took loads of photos whether any of them are any good I don't know high ISOs fast shutter speeds um, not the best lighting either so I don't think they're gonna come out crystal clear but to wait and see right now I've come down to the um, lake pond whatever you want to call it in search of this kingfisher that I saw last time well, I saw two, didn't I? I'm going to have a walk around for a bit and then I'm going to head back towards the car. It's uh, really grey. It's supposed to be sunny today. Weather reports are absolutely terrible. They never get it right. Oh, a bit of excitement. Some mandarin ducks over there. They're on the other side of the, uh, the water. And they're going behind the back of the bushes. I might get some shots of some mandarin ducks which is nice.
maybe, I don't know, on a better day, a better light, there might be some good shots to be had round here, I don't know. It's a bit more spread out, and there's some really old, old, I think they're oak trees. But it's uh, time to head back now. There's uh, too many people here now, and they're making too much noise. So every, every time I'm getting close to something interesting, you're getting kids shouting, and uh, well, to be honest with you, it's the, it's the women, the women are worst. They're shouting next to each other. They're talking to each other, right next to each other. Right the, the, one of them's the other side of the lake. I mean, listen to this, can you hear them? And they're just miles away. Noisy shits. So, yeah. I'm about an hour away from the car now. I don't think I can get any further away. So I haven't even got my uh, other camera out to record better sound. So I'm hoping this is all all right. If not, I apologize. But just hasn't been, hasn't been worth it. Lack of photos, lack of things to take, and lack of good light. So, I'm heading back to the car, about an hour away. If I take any more photos, I'll leave them now after this. If not, thanks for watching, even though it's been a, a crap one. Until next time.